another plot quester video for you all today. Hello, full plot questers. It is I, Aaron the Plot Quester, and today I got this great book, Dear Even Hansen, the novel by Bell Emich with Stephen Levinson and Benj Pasek and Justin Paul. So, well, let's get right on to it. First of all, this book is actually based upon a musical. And apparently the musical has a lot of better parts than the actual book and it contains some of some better emotions than the book itself. However, I really haven't watched the musical and I've only read the book. So I'm just going to give my honest opinion on the book and my opinion is that it's pretty good. So let's get right into it, shall we? The main character, if you couldn't tell from the title, is a boy named Evan Hansen. He is an anxious and sort of depressed boy and he thinks very lowly of himself. And as a therapy experiment or so way to get him to feel better, he starts to write letters to himself. Dear Evan Hansen, your day's gonna be awesome, blah, 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 blah. However, one day he grows sick of telling these lies to himself. He knows things aren't gonna get better. He knows he's, his life sucks. So what he writes is his honest opinion, which is that his life and this year would suck. However, things go very, very wrong. Well. Connor, who is known to be a delinquent, takes Evan's letter and thinks that it's creepy. Then, soon enough, Connor is found dead. And in his pocket is the letter. And since it's addressed to Evan Hansen, they think that it's a letter that Connor wrote that was his suicide note. This leads everyone to think that Evan Hansen is the best friend of Connor. Of course, Evan denies this. However, the parents don't believe him. The parents of Connor don't believe him. And eventually, he decides that he would keep up his lie just in order to keep that smile on their faces. He forges letters and emails in order to show, in order to show his friendship with Connor when we when he barely talked with him, and. He, he goes all in trying to keep up a lie. Happiness is actually derived from him though. Everyone is happy, and the girl that he had a crush on, Zoe, who happened to be Connor's sister, starts to slowly fall in love with him. At the same time, he starts this new project called The Connor Project. And it's like this website, and it's this thing that just tells everyone Connor's story, story, and tells them, you are not alone. We are here. Everyone else is here. And that is what the beautiful message of the Connor Project was. And the fact is that it was all built on Evan's lie that he was Connor's best friend. And eventually, Zoe becomes his girlfriend. Everything's good. Things, how, things work out. However, Evan is always always pulled down by the lies that he told in order for this situ or for this happiness to ensue and eventually he makes the mistake of revealing the suicide note that well that well he had written to himself as a therapy thing to Alana who is helping him with the Connor project she takes the letter and posts it and it Immediately, Zoe and her family is, well, hated because obviously, what sort of family makes makes their family member feel this loss and sad? How is this right? And they get a lot of hate when it's not their fault. It's not Connor who wrote that letter at all. So, Ivan all, all obviously thinking this is wrong. When the family starts to blame each other and yell at each other, he says, look, me, I'm sorry, and he leaves. And things sort of fall apart after that. And he becomes depressed, he becomes scared to even meet Zoe in the hallway, now his ex, of course. But then, at the end of the book, he's forgiven. Because at the end, it sort of, it sort of saved Connor's parents. And it let them remember Connor was a good person. And he was, and actually in the book, there's narrative, first person narratives passages where Connor's ghost just goes around relieving things. And he's just misunderstood. And he, he's very impulsive. 
and he, I, I, I'm not sure, but I, I think he might have this like mental illness or something. And it's not his fault. He's blamed for things that he didn't do. And it's just, it's just, it's just sad. And at the end, things were all good, and Connor Memorial Ore Card, an ore card in honor for Connor, is built using fundraised money. And it is a happy ending. I want to quote the book at the end. Maybe someday, some other kid is going to be standing here, staring out at the trees, feeling alone. Wondering if maybe the world may look different from all the way up there. Better. Maybe he'll start climbing, one branch at a time. And he'll keep going, even when it seems like he can't find another foothold. Even when it feels hopeless, like everything is telling him to let go. Maybe this time, he won't let go. This time, he'll hold on. He'll keep going. This story was not only even just lying about things and, and suffering. This is about his progress and finding and accepting himself. He still hasn't completely found himself, and he's in the process of accepting himself. However, this book sort of says, this is your lifelong mission. You gotta find yourself and try to get as close as possible to who you truly are. The last paragraph of the book states, we're weaving in between trees, careful not to disturb, on a mission. We mean no trouble, there's so many of us, the lonely souls. All of us who helped build this, those who will watch it grow, those we've lost. We march on together, climbing, falling, soaring, trying to get closer to the center of everything, closer to ourselves, closer to each other, closer to something true. So the entire book's based on even telling this lie to make everyone else happy. And this book sort of turns that into a sort of a message. You gotta be true to yourself because true to yourself and to everyone around you to show them who you are. You don't need to put off a fake face just to become popular or to be liked. You just gotta show yourself. And that's what Even has learned throughout this entire ordeal. And here we can sort of talk about white lies and lying. So. Obviously, Even's white lie helped Connor's parents and Zoe through the hard times. They grew to like the Connor that was sort of portrayed as a delinquent, as a good and kind person. They saw a different side of him, even though it was made up by Even. And they sort of went into this blissful, happy state, trying to remember, dealing with their grief, and it helped so much. And the world was also a better place. The Connor Project helped a lot of people who... Well, it helped a lot of people. It helped a lot of people who were lost, who were, who were, who were just depressed and sad. Just like Connor was in his suicide note, quote-unquote. And it did a lot of good things. Without, without Connor's death and Evan's lies, none of that would have been accomplished. However, can we really say that is right? Lying in order to protect a bigger truth. L lying in order to have happiness for a large amount of people and immeasurable guilt on one person. Now, let, let us remember something else. Imagine if there's one person who is unhappy and that allows everyone to live in paradise. Is it worth it? Is it right? I... And let me take this example. One person's really, really guilty, and he feels so guilty that he's, he feels he's gonna puke. But everyone else is super happy, and it's done a great impact. What is right? Is that right? Is that really... Is that really okay? Can we really say that? Or is the truth better? I believe, I firmly believe, that telling the truth is better, especially in that sort of situation. Because obviously some of the things that happened here is, is good, good things happened. However, Ivan didn't need to tell these lies in order to do the things that happened. It just made it easier, but easier doesn't mean correct. 
And even if the white lie helps to numb the pain, it's, it's just not good enough. Telling them the truth, making them face it, making the person face the truth and the grief, it makes the person stronger and makes the person adapt to the grief and the strife that is going through their minds. And not, none of this can be accomplished without the cold hard truth of the situation or conflict. I believe that the truth is, well, medicine, the best thing to do in that situation, even though in the short term it might be an appealing, in the long term it won't, believe me. Lying is like being tangled in a spider web. You lie once, you're okay, you think you're good. But then you have to lie again and again and again to stay consistent with that lie. And eventually you're tied up in this huge mess of a spider web of lies. And you can't get out of it very easily. And if, even if you do, it'll create quite an impact on your life and your social position. So let me tell you again, truth is the best medicine. Or so I believe. And I, be, I, feel like, I feel like in this book, we sort of feel that as well. Like we find even feeling like he's gonna puke, he feels so guilty, yet everyone else is so happy, but yet we still see even being so uncomfortable, being so guilty about all the lies he's told. And these are pretty terrible lies. Of course, if they've been forced upon him with his personality. However, they are still very, fairly terrible lies. So let me ask you again, is the truth better? Or is a white lie better? I already talked about what I prefer, but I want you all to think about what you think is correct in that situation. And write it down in the comment section below and maybe we'll have a discussion about it, who knows. And all in all, it was a great book. It really made me think. And it's been a while since I had a realistic fiction book that made me really dive into it and rip, made me rip through the pages. It's been a while since I found a book like that, and I'm glad that I did. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. Oops, I said book quester again. And like always, your plot quester, Aaron the Plot Quester. It is such a great book, and I hope that you all would read it. However, if you can't deal with like depression and anxiety and stuff like that, funnily, the book itself makes you anxious. It, it made me sweat a lot while reading it so that's that's a fair warning for you subscribe leave a comment about what you think about the question that i have just stated and have a great day